So what I'd like to cover in this next chapter is how do you actually add images and audio into your story. Um, now this one's quite a bit more involved. It requires creating extra nodes that we haven't had to create before. Um, and the folder structure for your project is also very important. So if you remember back at the um, very start of the series, uh, probably about the third, third or fourth video in, we talk about just installing Twine and we created a folder structure and I'll just show you mine. So my project, Testorio 1, is saved in the folder Test Project 01. And in here I have my audio folder, and there I have an audio file, and I have an images folder, and in there I have an images file. Now both this image and audio file, both of them are Creative Commons, so I'm legally allowed to use them. It's incredibly important that you use Creative Commons materials, so either uh, the license is open to anyone to use, or you've created it yourself, um, because you don't want to publish something and then get sued for it. That would suck. Okay, so that's your folder structure. Now, um, the first passage we need is we uh, well, we'll start with the audio one because that's the trickiest. So the first passage we want is this, um, it's a special passage called Story in It. And if I just open that up, this exists for one purpose and one purpose only. This exists to bring our audio into the background of our story here. Um, now what's happening here is I've got a function being called called KSHAC Audio, which is basically when a story starts, load the audio into the background. Um, I've got this word ambient here, so this is basically saying give it this a name. When I've loaded this audio into the background, I want to refer to that audio in my story as ambient. And the audio that I'm loading, and in these quotation marks, I've got the actual address of the audio. Here's my folder name, so that's that audio folder I was referring to, and you'll see that the track name is exactly as it is here. Oh man, spelling is so important. If you get the, even a single letter wrong, this will break. So make sure you copy and paste so you get that spelling exactly correct. And just like the, um, the if-else functions we used in the previous video, we're going to open this with two less than signs, and we'll close this with two greater than signs. So to create that story in it, in it passage, all you have to do is create a new passage and just title it story in it. And that's it. And that's uh, in that new passage, that's where you copy and paste, or that's where you type up your cached audio. Um, yes, I know there's already a passage named story in it because I've already created it. Uh, delete me. There we go. Yes, I want to delete, delete me. Okay, so story in it, it's just any other passage just happens to have the special name story in it. Um, I've also added a couple other special passages while I was at it. Uh, if you have the special passage story author, you can give your name there as the author of the story. And if you have a special passage story title, you can have the name or the title of your story. Now, since I've got this um, cached audio, I can actually call that with a function in my story. So this very first node, my ship direct node, you'll see that I've got this function where I've got um, two lesson signs, audio, I'm calling in the ambient track that I created in story in it. Once again, copy and paste. You have to get the spelling perfect. Um, I'm setting the volume to one so it plays at full volume, and I'm telling the game to play this when this passage opens. Um, so uh, audio, the f the cached audio I'm referring to in quotation marks with the exact same name as what's in my story in it passage. Volume 1 for full volume, volume 0.5 for half volume, and play to play it. And then it closes with two greater than signs. Um, okay. And the... <laughs> while we're here, how do you add, a, add an image? The syntax is significantly easier. It's just this top line here. Uh, it starts with a um, bracket, 
and I just type IMG and that calls an image. I've got another open bracket. Here's the folder name for the images folder that I showed you before, which is just here. And you will see that I have, uh, let's just open that up again. Um, you'll see the name of my image is exactly the same. Copy and paste directly into that line of code. And then I've got close bracket, close bracket. Now, if I hit play right now, nothing's going to happen. You're not going to hear any audio, and there's going to be this little broken image symbol. Um, so the reason why that's happening is... Uh, so the reason why that's happening is that um, you need to actually publish your story if you want to hear that audio and if you want to see that image. So how do you publish your story? Um, just down here, the same place where you went to go to check to see what your story format was, you've got this publish to file option at the very bottom. So if I click publish to file, and um, now it's going to suggest that you publish it with the same exact name as your current working story, and I don't recommend that. So I like to publish mine with um, a uh, subheading. So I'm using tests for instance. And yes, I definitely want to publish that. Now you're going to want to open this in Firefox. Firefox plays this beautifully. So um, we'll try and open it in Chrome as well. We'll just see what it looks like in both versions. So if I right click, so I'll go to where that is been saved. And if I right click and go to open with Firefox, I'll just bring that over. There you go, listen to that. There's my music playing, there's my image. It's bleak. You wake up on an alien shore. This is great. This is this is a story, man. All right, let's shut that down and let's see what it happens if I play it in Chrome. So, open with. Try Google Chrome. Ah, that ah, there it is. There's your audio. There's your image. Beautiful. So just remember, if your audio and your image doesn't show up, chances are you haven't actually published your story yet. So always make sure you publish your story, and then your audio and your images should be there. Cool. Um, wow, that audio is so epic. Let's just shut that down. Whew, that was so epic. Uh, this really felt like an alien shore. Um, the next thing I want to go into is just a little bit of syntax and formatting. So when you actually do hit play, how do you change what this looks like? How do you change what the what the links look like and what your text looks like? Um, and uh, that's going to wrap up our tutorials for today. We'll have a lot of couple more tutorials at the end of the series. Um, but for now, this is the bulk of what you need to sort of get going in Twine.